بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس اوپ یو آر آل گڈ ٹوڈے وی ول ڈو ریویو ایکسرسائز فائیو آف بک ڈی ون اینڈ وی ڈو کوشچن فرام کوشچن نمبر الیون ٹو کوشچن نمبر سکسٹین لیٹ اسٹارٹ اسٹوڈنٹس ناؤ اسٹوڈنٹس کوشچن نمبر الیون آبجیکٹ اے از فائیو کے جی ہیویئر دین آبجیکٹ بی اینڈ دی ماس آف آبجیکٹ سی از ٹوائس دی ماس آف آبجیکٹ اے If the total mass of the three object is 255 kg, find the mass of the object C. Now we see that object A is 5 kg heavier than object B. We have to first suppose the object B mass. Let the mass of object B is x. And now the mass of the object A is 5 plus x. And the mass of the object C is twice the mass of object A. It means it is the double. Object C is twice. It's twice. Now the total mass of the three object is given to us which is 255 kg. We have to find the mass of the object C. It means we have to add it x plus x plus 5 plus 2. 2x plus 5 is equal to that is the total mass which is given to us 255 now we have to solve it we have to open this practic bracket 2x plus 10 by adding we get 4x plus 15 2xx and by subtracting minus 5 15 uh, by subtracting minus 15 from 255 we get 0 4 240 2 40 by dividing it by 4 we get uh, 60 60 we have to find the mass of the object c it means we put the value of uh, x in this the mass of object c is equal to 260 plus 5 and that is 65 multiplying by 2 65 we get 130 kg now the mass of the object c is 130 kg and that is the answer of question number 11 now it's solved Now students question number 12. The sum of ages of Farhan and his cousin is 38. 7 years ago Farhan was thrice as old as his cousin. Find Farhan present age. Now we suppose the ages of, age of Farhan. Let it be x. Let the present age of Farhan is x. We know that the age of Farhan and his cousin uh, sum is equal to 38. It means if we subtract the age uh, from 38 Farhan age, we get the uh, age of his cousin. Now, let the present age of Farhan's cousin will be. We have to subtract the third x from 38 and that is the age of Farhan cousin now the next situation is that seven years ago it means we have to subtract seven from their ages and there was situation is given that Farhan was thrice as old as his cousin his age is three times greater than his uh, cousin at uh, seven years ago now Seven years ago, ages are ages. Seven years ago, ages are. Now we have to write it like that. X minus seven, and his cousin ages. Farhan was three times as old. It means. 
he's his cousin is three times younger and he's three times older and it is 38 minus x and we have to subtract 7 from this because it is 7 years ago and this is 3 times now x minus 7 by subtracting 31 minus x and by multiplying it we get uh, 3 6 minus 3x x plus 3x and 63 plus 7 we 4x and we get uh, 7 to add in it we get 70 and yes is it is 93 3 1 that 3 and 3 3 is 9 it is 93 and when we add 7 it is it becomes 100 now it is 100 and 100 divided by 4 and we get uh, by dividing by 100 we get 25 now this is the Farhan present age which we suppose that is x and x is equal to 35 therefore 25 and this is the answer of question number 12 now students question number 13 now students question number 13 Nora is twice as old as Raj and half as old as Ethan. In 22 years times, Ethan will be twice as old as Raj. Find Nora's present age. Now we see that the Raj age, uh, we ha there is a comparison with Raj age and Raj age is not given to us. Now we first suppose the age of Raj. Let the Raj present age b is equal to x now nora is twice it means the nora age is 2x and is a half as old as ethan now we multiply the ethan age by 2 because if we divide it we get the half age of nora See, let uh, suppose that the ethan age is 4x by multiplying it by 2x and Nora is 2x by dividing it 2. Now the Raj ethan age, let the ethan present age, we have to multiply it by 2 and we get 4x. Nora is half as old as ethan. We can also uh, see it by dividing 4 by 2, we get 2x. And that is the situation now. Now we have to find the Nora's present age. Ethan age is 4x and this is 22. We have to add in it because in 22 years times, Ethan age will be twice is double than Raj age. It means we have to multiply the 2 by Raj age which is x plus 2x. Now from this we can find the value of x. 2x 44 and minus 2x. Come that size it's become minus and 42 minus 22. 2x and we get 2 2 by dividing both sides by 2 we get 11 by dividing 2 by 22 we get 11 now x is equal to 11 we have to put this age in Nora's because we have to find the Nora's present age we have to put this age in this value value of now we put the value of x in this and we find the Nora's present age Nora's present age is equal to 2x and 211 it is 22. Now Nora is 22 years old. Now students question number 13 is solved. Question number 14 Amas has now students question number 14 Amas 
Now students question number 14. A man has 25 sweets and his son has 55 sweets. Find the number of sweets that the man has to give to his son so that his son would have four times as many sweets as him. Now students we have to suppose the man has given to his son sweets. We have to find it. First we have to suppose let it be x. Let the number of sweets man has given to his son is equal to x. Let the number of sweets man has given to his son is x. Now equation is becomes like that the man the boy the son received the sweets x. The son receive the sweets which is x and man has given the sweets x it means we have to subtract the 25 from x and we see that the uh, the situation is also given us that the four times as many sweets it means we have to multiply it by four because four times as many sweets as seems his son has four times more sweets than his son than his father that's why 4 comes here and it will become equal. Now we have to solve it and find the value of x. 2500 minus 4x and 4x plus x and 100 minus 55. We get 45 and this is 5x. By dividing both sides by 5 we get x is equal to 9. Now the man has to give 9 sweets to his son. To his son. Now students this is the answer of question number 14. Now it's solved. With the same amount of money find the original price of each x. Now first we have to suppose the original value of apple which will be x. Let the original price will be is equal to x. Let the original price will be equal to x. The situation is that the rainfuel has the situation is that the man has an uh, enough money to buy the apples 24 it means he has the money to buy the apples which is 24 x and now it will be equal if the price of each apple is reduced by 5 cent each apple price is reduced by 5 cent and he is able to buy buy extra apple it means it will be equal to these are the six extra apples which are added in 24 will be the same amount of the money that the amount are same it means 24 uh, price which is the original price will be x which is equal to 24 x and 24 plus x and this price is reduced by 5 cents the both situations are equal according to this. Now this become the equation. Now we have to solve it. 30 x minus 5 by multiplying it 30 x minus 150 and 24 x uh, by subtracting both sides by minus 24x and adding 150 this 150 is uh, cancelled by this and this 24x is cancelled by this by subtracting it we get 6x is equal to 150 now by dividing both sides by 6 we get 150 
now we are dividing by 6 6 uh, 2s are 6 2 times 12 3 carry and this is 6 5 we get 25 now the original price of the apple will be 25 Now students question number 16 a man travel from town A to town B at an average speed of 4 km per hour and the town B to town A at an average speed of 6 km per hour if he takes 45 minutes to complete the entire journey find the total distance traveled we have to find the total distance traveled Let the total distance from town A to town B will be x. Now we know that the time is equal to distance over speed and uh, there is a time is given to us is 45 minutes. We have to first convert it into hours. This is in minutes and by dividing it by 60. Fifteen three times forty five and fifteen four times sixty. This is three by four hours. Now we know that that is the total time. Three by four hours is the total time, and total time is is equal to distance over time from town A to town B. This is total time from town A to town B. The distance is x, which we have to suppose, and the speed is. 4 km per hour and from town B to town A this distance remains the same and the speed is 6 and the total time is given to us which is 3 by 4 now we have to take the LCM we get to finish the de denominator uh, 2, 2, 3 and 2, 2 We get 12. We have to multiplying both sides by 12. We get 4, 3 is 12. And 4, 3x and this is 2x. 6 divides uh, 12. We get 2x by adding in it. We get 5x and 9. Now by dividing both sides by 5. We get x9 by 5 and it's come it is in uh, improper fraction 5 4 by 1 by 4 now we have to find the distance of entire journey which is from a to b plus b to a it means we have to divide this by 2 the distance for entire journey is 2 multiply by we have to divide it 9 by 5 and this is 18 by 5 and by this is an improper fraction by writing in it a uh, uh, mixed number we get 5 3 15 and 3 by 5 yes meters kilometers now students this is the answer of question number 16 it's also solved i hope you understand these questions very well thank you very much students for watching my videos take care of self allah